Zombie, what are you doing? Sleeping. Hey, and I'm back again, this is Dave. People often ask me on a fairly frequent basis, how do you get so much stuff done? Like, how do you how do you keep focused? People assume that it's, you know, positive thinking and keeping a good schedule, a copious amount of coffee, a lot of caffeine. So much in fact that my doctor says that my blood pressure, not good. And uh, I get migraines from time to time because I drink so much coffee. You gotta do what you gotta do, right? And speaking of coffee, the folks over at, uh, you've probably heard of this company before, Stanley, um, they make a wide plethora of stuff. They make all sorts of things and they've been making things, it even says on here, 1913, lucky 13, but they've been making things a long, long time. Chances are you've seen one of the uh, like green thermoses. They have kind of like a hammered green metal finish. They're, they're steel. You could probably kill a rhinoceros with one if you had to. Uh, they're built like a tank, they last forever. I, I remember being really young and going camping with my friend's family and their, uh, their dad had one of those and I remember I was just like, this thing is like bulletproof. I, I couldn't understand in my head, like as a small kid, why why you needed something that overbuilt. Yeah, so this, it look, <laughs> it is actually an assault thermos with a, uh, a pistol grip on it. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding, it's not. It is coffee related. So we were just talking about coffee. What this is, is a system that allows you to make coffee, as long as you have coffee grinds, heat, water, and this, you could have coffee anywhere. It's made up of six components internally that are all in, inside this unit. Stanley has kind of done like a major brand overhaul. They still produce their old school thermoses and uh, various like food containers and campware. Um, in the documentation it comes with, it just comes with like this little, this was, I, I got excited and took it off before I showed you the thing because I just, I really wanted to read it. So they're boasting that this can keep stuff hot for 15 hours. It can keep things cold for 13 and keep iced for two days. That's pretty bananas. That's, <clears throat> excuse me, that's pretty bananas. They have this thing on here where they say like Stanley has survived. Speaking of Stanley, I did a little digging around on the internet and it turns out the founder of the Stanley Corporation's name was William Stanley Jr. It says that it can handle a negative 70 degree wind chill, a 4,000 foot drop, speeding bullets, and a category five hurricane. But who knows, maybe. I hope that I never find out. I hope you never find out. I hope none of us have to find out. So. While I was digging around looking for info on uh, William Stanley Jr., I noticed that they had rebranded their logo. They have this like really cool, a bear with wings and a crown on. And I was like, I gotta know what's up with that. That's that's pretty unique. <laughs> their methodology behind that, and I I buy this. I, I actually laughed my ass off when I, when I read their logic behind this. But you know, you have crazy stuff happen to you in life. And a lot of times the times that you reminisce about it are with your friends over food or hanging out at a campfire. And you tell these stories of stuff that's happened to you and a lot of times they get they get expanded, right? Where like, you know, one time you fell down like two stairs and then when you're telling them you like fell down like 15 stairs in a hurricane and there was like a Wolverine chasing you down the street. Those are great moments, right? Like those relatable moments when you're with the people that you care about, like it, no one cares that the story is crazy. Like sometimes you hear people tell a story and you're like, that's, that's, mm -mm, mm -mm, I ain't buying it. But it makes that moment awesome. So their logo, they, they literally have it as, this is this crazy thing, right? Like you got a bear with wings and it's like embracing that, like sometimes you just sit around and say crazy stuff to each other, like, you know, over a cup of coffee or, you know, s'mores or, but I thought that was super funny. Plus it's an awesome logo. Winged bear, like that's nuts. Can you imagine if bears could fly? We would be, we'd be in some trubs. I'm gonna take this over to the bench. We're gonna go through all the components and the usages of it. And we're actually gonna make some coffee today. So we're gonna make some coffee. They say 15 hours hot. They say that this will keep it hot for 15 hours. I haven't tried that yet. Uh, it is vacuum walled. That's a, that's a spicy claim right there. That's uh, 15 hours. I'm, I'm curious to see if it does it. So yeah, let's head to the bench. <laughs> I actually put this back in like my cupboards where I keep all my pots and pans and stuff while I was like setting up this camera and stuff and I couldn't figure out where I put it. So I just spent the last like 10 minutes wandering around trying to figure out where this was. Off to a great start. So recently there was a request for, uh, for less Dave time and more zombie time. What's this buddy? Who's that? There you go. 
If I could teach him to do reviews, I'd be set. This thing is made up of multiple components. Let's, I'm gonna break them all down. We'll, we'll see what's going on in here. So you got the main exterior unit, this whole thing right here. And then this top comes off, which is not a big surprise, but what's really cool about it. So you got a cup that you can use, you know, for coffee, cereal, whatever you want, you know, store stuff in. And then the top right here unscrews and you get two cups. So you get two, you get twice the bang for your buck, right? What I really like about that is if you're camping with like buddies or something, you could take the top one off and give it to someone to use for whatever beverage or whatever they need it for. And you can use the other one, or you could use one for coffee and one for cereal if you're by yourself or whatever, but it just gives you some extra options. And you got the, uh, the stopper on the top right here. It's kind of abnormal large you look at that and go wow that's a lot of space for a stopper you have uh, dry storage space so you can't put anything liquid in here so unfortunately you can't put like whiskey in here to throw in your coffee but uh, you can put coffee grinds cream and sugar if you used uh, like the non-refrigerated cream like the uh, little packets or the, the, the powdered stuff which isn't the the best tasting but I mean it's travel friendly so uh, or whatever you want you could put um, you know even medical stuff you could put aspirin band-aids anything that's a pretty spacious container there's you can get away with a lot in there so now we're getting to the magic that's going on in here. So you have the main reservoir, right? So you got the main storage area. It's double walled, so it's it's vacuum sealed double walled, so it'll keep stuff hot or cold for a really long time. This unscrews, and then you got this pot. It's, uh, it's kind of similar to your standard camping pot, and then inside that, a French press, right? So you put grinds in here, you put hot water in here. It's got a really cool little uh, handle pops out. It locks in place, which I like that they just don't use like a momentary detent, like where, you know, sometimes you have something and it pops up, but if you put enough pressure, it'll flop back down. That's locked until you hit these two little clips. There's a, I don't even say they're clips. There's these two little buttons on the side. And when you hit those, they push in this plastic mechanism that lets it collapse again. The pot itself uh, is a pretty simple construction, but I mean, it does the job. It has a rolled lip on the edge. There is a little spout, which I really like because there's nothing worse than being super tired in the dark and trying to focus on pouring something and getting it all over your hand or all over the ground. So it's nice that they dinged in that little edge right there. Take this, you put your coffee grinds and your water in there, you let it soak, you take your press, right? Which is just basically a cage. It's got a rubber seal that's removable on the bottom right here. So it makes it easier to clean or replace. And then you got this fine mesh on the bottom. And then when you're ready, you take this and push it through, pushes the grinds to the bottom, the water to the top. Now you have your pot of coffee, right? Now you have coffee. You could just drink it straight out of this into the cups if you want wanted to, right? You could just go straight to here. Or if you're going to be hiking and you want to bring it with you, or maybe you're going on a boat to go fishing or whatever, you pour that into here and then put this whole thing back together. Pretty incredible for just this unit right here. I mean, imagine lugging like a coffee machine or whatever, you know, this is way easier. You don't have to plug it into anything. It doesn't take batteries. Or if you know you're staying somewhere that has a cabin, you could use a traditional stove and just heat the pot on top of the stove. So what else we're going to do is I'm actually going to make coffee with this. All right, that water was just boiling and handles a little warm, but it's not, it's not gonna, yeah, I can hold that. It's not like super hot. I'm gonna get the stove out of here. Here goes the coffee. All right, so we're gonna take this, we're gonna take the, uh, the press. Let's see if you all can see that. That looks coffee-tastic. I'm not seeing any grinds coming through, which is great. So now we'll take this. Huh? Looks like nice, clear, hot coffee. I'm not seeing any grinds. It pours real easy. That little spout is doing a fantastic job. Ah, that's super cool the way that's engineered. The liquid is just, there's those little holes, there's the square holes in the side. You don't have to worry about any pouring over the top of the vessel. It's just going right out the spout. I don't know if you can see, I don't know if there's enough light, but no more water, just grinds in the bottom. It's completely cool to the touch on the outside right now. I can't feel any heat. So this cleans out super easy with a towel. Yeah, still nice and cool. So we're gonna leave that for 15 hours and we'll see we'll see what happens all right hello everybody um, I poured this coffee yesterday at 4 30 in the afternoon and it is now 7 in the morning 7 30 in the morning so uh, now is a perfect time to have some coffee Let's see how it did I can feel heat coming off of this I can feel heat that is hot coffee 15 hours later, it's still hot. I'm I'm pretty surprised. It's not like boiling hot, but it's definitely hot. Like it definitely has heat to it. The two walls of that container plus the seal on that stopper definitely kept the heat in and uh, that's pretty good coffee.
Mmm, good morning. Wow, I'm, I'm usually a, a little bit of sugar and cream kind of guy, so that's pretty strong, but it's good. It's good coffee, uh, and it's warm, and the cup works good, too. I am gonna go wake up and do my stuff, and then we'll go do the uh, pros, cons, and final thoughts later when I'm awake. Pros, cons, and final conclusion, right? How did this do? Um, I was surprised. It, you know, it's not as, like, piping hot boiling as when you make it, but that was still pretty hot for 15 hours later. I don't think I own anything else. I don't know. I don't think I have anything else that would keep something hot for that long. Pros. The build quality is excellent, extremely well put together. The materials are fantastic. It's all stainless steel. I really like the engineering that went into this, like the way it's put together. Uh, the double nested cups is a great idea in my opinion. If you can get away with two vessels to store stuff in, in the space that normally you'd only be able to carry one, uh, the, the French press sieve system works great. This just as a standalone camping pot would be great. You know, just doing its job by itself. I like the uh, added storage in the stopper, well-constructed, solid. Like, I I didn't do the, the chill test, I just did the heat. Uh, to me, I don't really care if stuff's cold. I'm not a big uh, cold beverage guy. Like, hot coffee would matter to me, but yeah, if I'm gonna keep something cold, I'd probably just bring a cooler. You know, it performed that well with the heat test. I can't see why I wouldn't be able to do cold, because really the science behind it is the double walls and the seal in here, right? So you got this really nice rubber seal that is removable too. Like, all the, uh, the seal on here, you can pop off for cleaning purposes or to replace it, I guess, if it ever got jacked up. Speaking of, they stand behind their stuff. If anything goes wrong with this, through normal usage like if you you know fight a bunch of mountain lions and fall off a cliff or blow it up with a bomb they're gonna be like hit the road but if it breaks because of a defect in manufacturing they will replace it for you works great huh, I didn't notice that I've been suggesting that you put coffee grinds in here and they actually have coffee grinds written little instructions and they're like telling you <laughs> I always figure whenever you have a sign on something, it's because somebody did something stupid and they have to, you know, when they hit, you have a cliff and it's like, don't jump off the cliff, it's because somebody, it's, they don't ever premeditatedly do that and no one jumped off the cliff, it's always because someone jumped off the cliff. You know, they, they, at $50, like they keep that price you're getting a lot of bang for your buck. There's a lot of other companies out there that like this would start at like a hundred, you know, for because camping, camping and hiking stuff is really expensive. You go down to REI, you know, walk around, and just some of the prices are just like, man, I understand that this takes a lot to develop, but whew, that's like that's a kick in the wallet. All of their stuff seems really reasonably priced to me. Stanley, I'm I'm impressed by how well they engineer things and they keep their dollar lower. You know, they're, they're just, I guess they're just not making as much profit, but they're willing to do that. You know, it may just come with being a company that's been around for a hundred years. They know the business and they know where to where to give and where to take. That's an extra bonus if you're thinking about buying a French press for your house or if you worked in like an office. If you worked in like a cubicle in an office, if you just had this part, you put your coffee grinds in there, put your, your you know, your sieve on top, let it sit and then push it and now you got coffee at your desk or in your house or whatever. So, I mean, you're kind of getting a lot of bang, bang for your buck in different directions. Right? You could use this as a commuter mug if you wanted to and just leave this part at home, right? Like you're getting, for your 50 bucks, you're getting a commuter mug, two sets of cups, a storage unit, French press, a cooking pot. It's crazy. That's an insane value for how much stuff you're getting and you could use it all at once or you could use pieces of it at a time uh, Cons so one thing that is kind of a bummer and I think it is related to expectations, right? So if you look at the uh, capacity on this because the whole storage system is here It has to be indented in right like this has to be smaller So it, it holds uh, 17 ounces or half a liter in here when you see the whole thing put together You would think that it holds a lot more fluid But the catch is is one you're storing all these components around the main unit, right? So there you go. You just lost this much space of water storage right there and then the pot on the outside when you see this by itself it looks pretty roomy right you'd be like okay that's a that's a pretty big thermos and that's where you're wrong i mean it provides a similar function but this is meant to be a coffee maker right you could use it to put other beverages in but first and foremost its first purpose is to be a coffee maker it's just, it's just like saying you could use this pot to make soup in or you could heat up you know whatever you want in here i'd say one of the cons is you're not getting as much liquid storage as you would think for the size of this unit if you're going to do some kind of like a long distance hike you know or something like that or if you're going and you're like the only water you can bring on you is the water you have this might not be the best solution right because if you're going a really long way you probably don't care about how hot or cold something is and you don't care about the ability to make coffee you'll probably just bring freeze-dried coffee with you that doesn't taste the best and I've always noticed that freeze-dried coffee I don't get as much of a caffeine kick but you know if that's all you got the storage size is not going to be like what you see here right so the the amount of water and that's all contingent on what you expect to get out of this right have realistic expectations on what you're gonna get out of this don't don't look at this as a large capacity hydration 
solution. Solution. Other cons. Like everything on here is super smart. I don't have much for this. I think they did a great job. Stanley, you guys did two thumbs way up. Um, this would be a great way to make coffee in the middle of nowhere. Uh, I've tried a lot of different coffee solutions for camping and hiking and all sorts of stuff. Like I've tried, they have those little foldable filters that like sit in your cup and then, you know, the uh, freeze dried. Uh, just having like pre-made coffee and bringing it with you. It gets kind of gross after a while. Super cool idea. Uh, it's smart to have the sieve built in there and you know, and it keeps it hot. And like we, we, we gave it a shot and it kept it hot, right? Bam. Final word, uh, hell yeah, I'd buy this. As, as someone who is a massive coffee addict and nothing makes you more tired than being out in the woods if it's really cold and you've been sleeping on an air mattress that's really like the width of a flip flop for like four days in a row and your bones hurt and you're tired and like coffee is like one of the best pick me ups in the entire world. So taking a little bit more extra space to bring this with you, I think the morning when you're sitting on a log next to the campfire or you know in a, in a camp chair and you're drinking hot fresh coffee, you'd be like, I'm so glad I brought this and I'm gonna bring this every time I go camping. Cause coffee is a rarity that you don't realize how awesome it is until it is, you know, six in the morning and it's cold and it's rainy and you're camping and you know, you've been eating granola for two days or whatever. Like, uh, I wasn't sure what to expect when it showed up in the mail. I kind of looked at it for five or 10 minutes and was kind of curious and a little bit like, I wouldn't say confused, but a little skeptical. And then after messing with it for a couple days, totally sold. Cool deal. Thanks for tuning in and thanks for watching my reviews. I really appreciate it. Um, if you feel like subscribing, feel free to. I appreciate everybody who's been jumping on. Apparently you guys like what I'm doing, so I'm gonna keep doing it. I have a lot of fun making these and I'm glad that it helps people make their choices and decisions on stuff. All right, well, I'll see you next time. Have a good one. So it's, it's 20 hours later after I brewed this coffee and I decided just, you know, for fun to give it another shot. It's not boiling hot, but it's still warm. That's incredible. That's amazing. 20 hours after I put coffee in here, it's still, it's still very drinkable. Like you can totally drink this. It's warm. It's not hot, hot, but it's still warm. That's crazy. Oh, buddy. Yeah.